feedback as to where the government stands. That um, offer hasn't been uh, sort of taken up. Generally, I speak to the petition. <coughs> the petition is then tabled in the assembly, and the government has 30 something days to respond to it. And the minister responsible for the area that the um, petition applies to will then respond in uh, not very major responses, but they, the community does get some sort of response, and at least you know where you stand with the petition. So how do you gauge your effectiveness in relation to the petitions? Um, look, petitions, um, uh, at the moment, I, I have to say that uh, there haven't been too many turnarounds just from the petitions going in. Uh, there have been instances where uh, the government is actually starting to see that there is some angst in the community and they have to do something about that. But um, one of the major issues is um, in planning, which um, no doubt you're, um, you're all aware of as well, and from the YRA, the Yarrawong Residents Association's efforts in trying to bring some sanity to the Brickworks project, um, they have expressed um, dismay at the fact that every consultation that they've had with the government, uh, the community has met with LDA, not with government ministers, but every meeting that has concluded, um, LDA has come back and one of the major issues there has been the number of dwellings. Uh, originally it, uh, it was about uh, 1,100 dwellings in 2014, sorry 2010 that LDA proposed. Uh, they came back four years later in 2014 and the dwellings have gone up to 1,400. So there was another meeting <coughs> and the next time LDA came back the dwelling numbers have gone up to 1,600. So you know, the community is saying, well, they're not listening to us. We're telling them that's a problem and yet that keeps going up. And to uh, just cap it off, in the last meeting uh, that they had, last consultation, LDA came back and it's 1,800 dwellings now. So, to answer your question, um, we're not cutting through the government either is not listening or it's not um, accepting what the community is saying to them. But we've got to keep saying it and you will have an opportunity to say, have the ultimate say, uh, next year. Okay. Um, any, any other questions? Um, well, sorry, just um, yeah. um, well, one, do you know anything you about the Downer <laughs> school development, what's happening at the moment? I've heard stories about there could be aged persons type units on the western end and all this sort of stuff. I can't give you any direct answers on it, but I am looking into that at the moment. In fact, I picked up on some of the issues that you, I think I spoke to you about that as well. Yeah. Uh, I haven't got any answers back on that, but uh, maybe for the next meeting I'll, I'll see if I can come back to you with some answers yeah. on that. Well, so maybe Shane might be able to give some. Yeah, well that's another one I think the government <coughs> doesn't listen to what the, the neighbourhood wants. Yeah. Um, and they keep pushing they get these little boxes in little one bedroom units, etc, etc, etc. They're all rubbish. And, and look, that's, that's one of the things that um, has come through in a, in a couple of um, meetings with the estimates can be met with the National Seniors uh, just a few days ago. And um, they were putting forward the point of view that a lot of people of uh, my age group are looking at downsizing. And downsizing doesn't mean that you want to go into a one-bedroom unit or a two-bedroom unit, but you want to get away from a four-bedroom, five-bedroom house to something more manageable, but uh, manageable and also have the opportunity to post your grandkids. So you want to have two, three bedrooms, a townhouse, and there's a lot of demand for townhouses. And yet in um, where that could actually alleviate some of the issues that people are bringing up. It's only since we started pushing the idea of why don't you look beyond units that townhouses have all of a sudden emerged as, oh yeah, well we might provide townhouses as well. But it's important that you keep pushing the areas that, um, that you don't agree with, don't just sit back and, and take it. Uh, we will bring your issues to the attention of the government. So Neil? Um, I've turned on the video camera without yeah. asking you first. <laughs> So, are you comfortable with this video being taken and oh, presented? Not quite comfortable. Okay, good. Thank you. I'll just see you afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I guess it's about joking, six, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah. Well, first of all, any one more question, if anyone has one? If not, um, who's the uh, Economic Development Directorate? Yeah. Uh, who's our rep? Oh, you are? Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, on the City of the Gungahlin Corridor?